World Tour 2014. Super excited for it, got off to a rocky start. Um, the Polar Vortex canceled all these fights due to the inclement weather. So we were supposed to arrive in Japan Thursday morning and we ended up arriving Saturday night. Um, due to nobody's fault, but we were basically on edge because we knew that the Tokyo Auto Salon is once a year clearly, it's three days and we did not want to miss that show. So um, we get off the flight and uh, you know, of course we all have tons of luggage with us, uh, Estefania was with us, Della, Mike, myself, um, all of us at least were carrying at least an extra bag, especially Della and I with the camera gear and uh, carrying all of our tripods and stuff. And um, you know I knew from right off we got off the plane that it was going to be difficult for us to talk to all the taxi drivers and the locals. Um, but what was tough was also them understanding how much gear and luggage we had. Uh, they kept on bringing us these little cars and then they brought us like a little van. Uh, I mean, it was tiny. So finally, finally, Della saw a huge van out of nowhere and just, we were managed to just stuff everything in there and were able to make it to the hotel safely. We had the wonderful opportunity to stay in Shiba last year. The team stayed in Tokyo and they traveled an hour each day to the Tokyo Auto Salon. Jab thought it was a better idea this year to stay in the city of Shiba. So we stayed in Manhattan. It was right next to where the convention center was. So we actually walked to the Auto Salon. And it was unfortunate we missed the first two days, but uh, we got there early before the crowd came because the crowd is intense. So we got a lot of footage while it was empty and at nine o'clock, these gates open and it was like a flood of people coming in and basically for the next eight hours all you're hearing is photos being snapped because it was really intense. The cars were out of this world, um, the Boston booth was packed, um, it was really amazing. At the final did a great job uh, coming from Miami, uh, bringing some Miami flavor to Japan. We also went to the Lexus racing booth with the RCF that was pretty amazing with the, the racing mannequins. And then of course the Hamana booth was incredible uh, with all the white theme along with the black S7. It came out really good. Um, to me, a fan favorite was the Liberty Walk area. I I'm not sure how many cars they brought. It seemed like 15, 20 and the entire show, it was just packed to capacity. And again, just walking around was intense because of how many people are at this show. And it was the last day, so everybody seems to want to see all the enthusiasm and all the enthusiasts at this meet. And uh, we were very happy to be there and hopefully you watch the video on YouTube. I've been correct, it's a A180, not an A45. A180 and a CLA. 180, um, wide body. This is the part where you're supposed to ask me, yo, Ant, where are we at? But I don't know. AO never knows where we are. I think one, because he's always on his phone. Two, he always says, man, I don't know where we're at. I don't know where we're at, man. Uh, Jab, Yuki just lets me know where we're going, what we're shooting. You know, I try to set my mind like, all right, this, is, this shoot has to be freaking amazing. And you guys asked me on camera, it made me look like an idiot. Like, oh, yo, man, where are we at? I'm like, I don't know, like some city. We are in Sugawara, Sugawara Jinja. Shinto Temple. Yeah, Shinto Temple. Yeah, Shinto Temple. This is the Machida city. Well, we met up with the crew from Hamana, and uh, these are some of the funnest guys, the most energetic guys around. Um, a little old Tokyo was something I've never experienced before. I don't think anybody experienced before because the city is literally over 500 years old with a lot of the same architecture and buildings from that time line they, they preserve it and 
it looked amazing. So we kind of did a little mix of old and new, bringing these brand new Audi R8, the Audi S7, the wide body Mercedes CLA, the wide body Mercedes A-Class. And it caused so much commotion in the city because you know, it, it was very quiet and laid back. And here we are shooting videos. You can hear these amazing exhausts. And just to see people taking pictures of the cars and shooting their own videos of the cars that we brought in this amazing, beautiful city was, was really cool. What up? Shooting this R8 in this like little street. Everyone taking photos of it now. Obviously, the locals love it. It was pretty awesome. We we got to experience what we we got to experience a world tour with our friends and you know some more of our co-workers this time around. Overall, it was a dream come true. I've always dreamed of going to Japan. I'm forever grateful for Dad and the team of Boston for bringing me along. Um, I got to experience and help and the food, the culture, and it was fun to hang out with uh, Alexis, who was a dream come true. You know, like I really can't wait to do it again next year. Um, hopefully we won't run into any uh, weather problems. And um, yep, 2015, Tokyo Auto Salon. See you next year.